Hello everybody, my name is Raxef and I am here with Orwell. Super, super excited to try out this game. I saw it uh, online during the winter sale and I really, really wanted to try it out. So don't know too much about it, this game. I do know it has to do with spying on your friends through social media and reporting them to some sort of organization. But other than that, I am brand spanking new. So let us jump into it. We've been accepted into Orwell. Please create a profile. All right, let's do that. Uh, create a, select a profile picture. Oh, okay. So what do we want to look like? Um, let us look like, hmm. Yeah, I like this guy. He looks cool. Enter our name. Name, Raxef. Enter your email address. Uh, enter your last to inform about updates. Okay. Uh, let me email. Let me, <laughs> let me not email. Let me put my email in really quickly. I'm aware that my actions may severely impact the lives of the citizens of the nation. I will work thoroughly and judge objectively in the best of my belief, and while working, I will adhere to the laws and jurisdiction of the nation. I don't know the laws of the nation. What is the nation? Okay, yeah, I guess. Ensuring that your registration is now complete. Freedom Plaza. Okay, so it looks like we have some sort of security surveillance footage that's just cycling through. Do we do anything? Nope. Okay. Not yet. Ooh. Okay, so we're tracking someone. Oh, shoot. Okay, so, so we just got bombed or something? Episode one, the clocks were striking 13. All right, so this game is broken down into episodes. Okay, so we're online, good. Call me Symes, I will be your advisor on Orwell. Together we will form both the first and the last line of defense against terrorism. For this test phase, you are one of the first people to try out the Orwell system under real circumstances, selected from thousands of applicants from across the globe. Normally, congratulations would be in order, but as you can see from that footage, there has been an incident, so let's get started. Okay, so, so that just happened, and I guess we need to participate in this program to try and to stop terrorism activated the reader tool its purpose is storing bookmarks to online websites and documents for easy access and to highlight when there's new information to be investigated to be informed of the situation our leading newspaper the national beholder will <laughs> i just have in mind some sort of official like multi-eyed monster from dungeons and dragons and that being on the front page of the newspaper uh, the National Beholder will bring you up to speed. All right. Uh, headlines. Feel free to browse the National Beholder. I have activated the profile. Open the unknown person file once you're done. All right. Bomb obliterates Freedom Memorial and kills three. It's a good day to fall in love. Singular. Rosen Technologies, shaping visions bit by bit. 
Bonton. Not Boston, Bonton. Okay. Explosion destroys the Freedom Memorial in Bonton. Three people killed, five severely injured. Authorities receive strange letter. Approximately 7.50 p.m. on Wednesday evening. Explosive device detonated at the Freedom Plaza in Bonton. According to three people, okay, we already read that. Uh, Freedom Memorial was nearly completely destroyed. Police forces closed off the area immediately. Experts believe that the attack was an act of terror, with police confirming that the explosive device was homemade and triggered from a short distance away using a cell phone signal. Confirmed that several hours earlier, an anonymous letter containing the first three stanzas to the German folk song Die Gedanken sind frei, Thoughts are free, had reached local authorities. The Prime Minister immediately issued a public press statement firmly condemning the assault, and the nation is on high alert. Okay. Negotiations failed in Triflith. Pargesian or Pargesian? Pargesian? Let's just let's just say Pargesian. Pargesian president aborts negotiation with opposition. Violent riots blame encourages renewal. Um Trillin has been avoided with any result last night. Independent resources support the President Cassart. They cut off communication with opposition representatives as the latter re- presented a tangible plan for the organization of re-elections. It is about premature can cause thousands to resume demonstrations in the capital. It has been reported that demonstrators wearing hoods threw incendiary material into the shop windows and onto cars. Okay, so this is serious. They're like full on destructively rioting. Struggled to keep the situation under control. Prime Minister Blaine stated his worries about the negative developments regarding the political situation of the neighboring hood. And his request to Bosa would. Okay, so. Prime Minister Blaine wants to get things peaceful. All right. 100 Grey Shadows. Uh, Hilbury. Shooting of Grey Shadows Saga lasting four years. Finalized. Valentine's Day 2018. Okay, so we are... We are... Either very early in 2018 or some... Oh, no. We're in 2017. Right here. Okay. Need to pay attention to the dates. So we're this year pretty much i wonder if we need to pay attention to the ads as i come to understand this game there's all this information that you need to pay attention to because it all will somehow link together so updated version of the official poster from the director okay lengthy in the hills of bonton visionary director sumishi aran Announced that the filming of his eagerly awaited romantic drama, A Hundred Grey Shadows, has finally come to an end. Uh, brass director. I wonder why he's why they say visionary, visionary director in quotes and brash director. Uh, previously releases being a grey shadow and another grey shadow. <laughs> Not the most clever of titles. Postponed numerous times due to production problems. Breakdown of Hollywood power couple Betty Avon and Mike McDeal. Long-lasting quarrels during the filming as a result. One production hand was reported to say that these spats were getting out of control. Pulling teeth. When they reach out to Rubab, they decline the rumors them to be mere speculation. Okay. So, there's some drama going on there. We've caught up with the news. There's riots. There was just this... Uh, just a little terrorist attack that happened on the 13th. Let's go to unknown person. It's all known information on those we investigate. The file you have opened is for our main suspect. The blue haired woman on the season before that is no stranger to the police. Take a look at the arrest record. Okay. The arrest record. How do I access? Take a look at the arrest record. I'm trying to find the arrest record. Okay. 
let's, um, you'd think her record would be somewhere under background. Oh, okay. Bookmarks right there. Our highlighted elements are pieces of data that are able to be extracted. We call these elements data chunks. They will reveal the relevance to the case and any connections or information that it may influence. Drag and drop all data chunks from the police database into a profile to upload them to our servers. All right, so. Okay, so her name is Cassandra Watergate. We have her photo, so that should update there. Information and documents can only become a data chunk when it can clearly be assigned to a target. And the reason for prior arrest that's just been unlocked, we will need this info too. Okay, so, so she did assault a police officer. The data you extract from a new document can now be accessed. Now let me ask you a question. Do I believe in coincidence? I do not. Find data. Revealing where she attacked the police officer, and you will see what I mean. All right. Suspect was arrested on site after Officer Franklin had been struck by an unknown object and became unresponsive. Protest protesters at the origin of the assault were forcibly moved where the suspect was found kneeling and weeping on the ground. The suspect co op. Well, if she cooperated immediately. Interesting. Okay. Let's see here. Uh. Oh, okay. Is this woman a terrorist? Woman allegedly injured. Trial scheduled for August. Okay, so this happened last year. Simple protester or anti government terrorist. Central PD, the case that keeps the media in public guessing, Cassandra Watergate, who had allegedly injured a police officer, being held in custody with a large brick during a rampage at the Freedom Plaza as part of a demonstration. All right, so she's an artist. Okay, well, so this happened at the Freedom Plaza which is the exact, yeah, so that was the exact same location. You should also gather more background info. I want to know who we're dealing with. Okay, so yeah, so it happened at the Freedom Plaza as part of a demonstration uh, against the newest amendments to the government's model project safety bill. Due to the chaotic nature of the scene, police have not yet been able to connect the crime to Cassandra, who's an artist by profession. All right, so that's good to know what she does. One who does street art by blowing memorials to pieces by any chance. Uh, found another document. Before we go on, let's clarify your job and how it affects mine, shall we? You have extracted all the info I already knew about Miss Watergate. Starting now, I'm going into this case blind. The Orwell Ethical Codex dictates that investigators like yourself are the only ones allowed to access documents of target persons. Advisors like me only get to see the data provided by the investigators. We will then draw conclusions and request action. Your primary job is to provide information you deem important. Never give away incorrect or misleading data. You may hit disable on a data chunk you do not want to pass on to Orwell. However, some data chunks might be necessary to progress on the case. All right, so it looks like trials will come mid-August. The case received nationwide attention. Anti-governmental terrorists. Okay, so... So she's not yet connected to stuff, but we are figuring it out. Portfolio. Okay, so this is her art portfolio. Oh, she looks happy. Okay. Cassie. Okay, so she goes by Cassie. Colorful of Wonderland right behind the rainbow. Finally found the courage to quit my dull day job and focus on her art career. Okay. Uh, see something you like? Why, of course you do, because it's awesome, isn't it? Leave a message on my 
you tell account the Cassie 92. I'm gonna make fine art print and ship best thing free of charge. Now off you go and have fun. Alright. Aw, she likes cats. I like cats. Yep. Never sure about the title. The businessman's forgotten daughter or victim of traditionalism in pink. Okay. It's meant to be a private piece, but oh well, I'd have a hard time keeping it to myself. Okay. Well, so we know that Cassie is a businessman's daughter. And we know that she has had or has some sort of relationship to a person. Uh, we, we know that she has a Utel account, whatever that is. Listener has now been unlocked. Oh! Uh huh. Interesting. Okay. Uh, and she quit her day job. This isn't really a colorful inhabitant of Wonderland. I don't think that's relevant, but she quit her day job to focus on her art career. Oh. Ooh, what's happening? Jossie. happening buying all of Bonton with that platinum card I lifted I don't mind you going on a splurge as long as you pick up some wine for dinner okay so maybe Jossie is the person she's in a relationship with okay Very serious, but okay, so she has an attorney. I wonder if that's a person she no, because it's a private chat, so she would she would let us know if if they're related. Alright, so let's upload that. Okay, new profile data chunks relevant profiles okay uh oh whatever i guess i should big pharma okay so we know that she's then a daughter of pharmaceutical okay so i think that was it um she did seal the credit card so yes okay done no really no need to thank me mr langley okay excellent so we got that done um well let's see what happens if we drag this to here oh uh, okay all right, so that was wrong. Okay, so don't just put everything there. Some, something is wrong. Uh, Watergate Pharmaceuticals and Procedures Closing Raising. Okay. Investigation in the malicious injury. Oh, so he was the lawyer who represented her during the trial. When you extract one of the data, can others will be invalid. If I a conflict before you, the, this is your decision. Once the information has been parsed, there's no way to reverse. The case being closed due to lack of evidence. The wealthy family of the accused might have influenced. All 
All right, so show. Oh, okay, I see. So are we going with the wealthy family of the accused might have influenced the outcome in her favor or that it was actually... Oh, I see. So we shouldn't upload either of those until we figure out figure out what's actually going on here. So let's take a look at the other. Uh, so this is their website. All right. Enriches lives with our industry leading range of products contribute to well-being. Cough drops, migraines, Ooh, increases concentration and cerebral performance. Aspirin, antidepressants, painkillers, sleeping pills. Aha, Bruno Watergate. Dr. Alice Watergate. Oh, I see. Cassandra Watergate, Junior COO. Being an artist and a junior COO seems quite odd, yes. Um, and she's their daughter, okay. Documents that you have already reviewed may be updated. The reader will notify you when that happens. Just published a new article that you may want to take a look and see if there's any new info available. All right. Her business acumen and unique flair. So apparently she's really good at business. Let's see what jobs they had. Uh, Joseph Market at uh, head of HR. Retired, formally appointed. Okay, so. This is probably what she, what she meant about quitting her job. Okay, that's good. Uh. All right, so nothing out of the ordinary there. Crime rate continues to drop. The Ministry of Security has presented the latest numbers. On Thursday morning, the Ministry of Security uh, published new crime statistics. According to the report, the number of recorded criminal offenses decreased by 4.8%. Okay, that's good. Uh, continuously declining... Uh, due to the implementation of the safety bill. All right, so I'm just going to do a quick scan here. Okay, so that's the prime minister. Catherine Peter Faulkner. Okay. Projects. Safety bill. Nothing looks out of place here. Oh, I wish you could donate. Join the army of the nation. No. Um, let's... Yeah, let's go here. Alright, so... What is what does this mean? I don't think it means a ton. So Uh oh, let's go to her portfolio and All right, so we have a couple different photos of her. The wealthy family that might have see I don't think I don't think her parents because she left so I think that the case would be closed due to a lack of evidence because her parents kind of gave her the cold shoulder when she when she moved out uh, 
the retired, formerly appointed predecessor. Yeah, see, I I think I think sh her case was thrown out due to lack of evidence. Oh, we can add that. Is that actually the same person? Uh, looks like it. Looks like the same person. Alright, so let's see here. Uh, there's nothing else here. There's nothing else on listener. All right, well, let's... No, not there. Ooh, okay, so we can investigate some other people. So let's go to company. So we know Alice Watergate. Married to Bruno Watergate. Why can't I drag your photo there? Oh, well. Lawyer. So we're still on... We're still on Cassandra. Okay. Those are her connections. So I guess we need to go back here to... Yeah, I think this is it. Maybe it will today. Thinking about that our miss underwent quite a radical change, don't you agree? Let's find out what happened in between these two lives of hers. What may have caused this shift? Cassandra's timeline. You're invited inside the rabbit hole. Okay, so this is her social media profile, I guess. Okay, so we know when she was born in 1992. And we know that her interests are in activism and art and music. The targets, her cat. Uh, first day in freedom, far away from the shackles of Watergate Pharma. Uh, don't you worry about me. Okay. Uh, you have finally managed to destroy us entirely. There's nothing left. Oh. Okay. That doesn't sound like you. We haven't hung out for ages. I'm not in the mood. Ooh, all right, so. Oh, aha. That's where they had to mention this up with my parents. Okay, good. So her parents didn't buy. Her parents didn't buy buy out the jury. Camps for safety, one big lie. Well, I'm so happy for you. Okay, let's... New portrait. So let's add that. But no, we're... We're sticking with that. Okay, so Mary... Mary's like one of her friends... Invite you to be, uh, that's a spirit kiddo. Now I like, oh. All right, so she goes by Casarthus. It's always good to record every alias. All right, yes. And she was invited to an activist group. Oh, what's going on in chat? All right, Mr. Langley, what do you have to say? All right.
right, come on, Cassandra. Uh, maybe thought thought is the is the group what is it because we 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 shut it off or maybe we shouldn't do that because then she'll be on to us you always have an appointment <laughs> I like how she has the two exclamation points but she forgot to hit shift on the last one Jeez, she, okay, so she's on medication, she's taking meth, apparently, So they're having a little fight. Okay, so we know that she's on meth. <laughs> uh, yes, we can look that up. Uh, we know that the group that she's in is called Thought. She catches a bus from there every day. All right, so what else was there that we were looking into? Uh, so she's in a relationship. One, okay, so. There's one chunk, aha. Uh -huh. They're the best friend of all time. No, but she doesn't like Mary. So we're gonna do this. How sad. Yes, you're clearly so torn up about it. Uh, yes, products. Metherin blue. Antidepressant, okay. So she's on an antidepressant. Looking at what we've extracted so far, we're dealing with a potentially dangerous personality. I will indicate that to law enforcement. Okay. Thoughts are free. If liberty means anything at all, it means the right to tell people what they do not want to hear. George Orwell. Welcome to the thought blog. Pick an entry below. Oh, what's this? Ooh, something new on our timeline. Um, let's go back to this. Cams, cams everywhere. Even at the Freedom Plaza. I don't know. Ironic. 
We were there because we wanted peaceful protests. We have always been against violence. Abraham predicted pretty much all of this, but it wasn't. It took weeks of investigated custody. The cam footage was actually not clearly showing anything at all. Why are there so many cams in the first place? Intimidation only. Alright, well, let's see if they're really... It's article due to privacy. Oh, okay. So all of these... All of these are archived and forbidden. Interesting. Okay, so... Articles 1, registered... Okay. Oh, okay, so linking to another article. By Goldfells. Okay. No contact for Goldfells. Oh, there's a German folk song called "The Thoughts Are Free." So this was the, this was the the German folk song that was in the letter earlier on. Hello, admin. I like your things too. Could you one, but now even more. Oh, okay, so that's just spam. Alright, uh, let's go back to our timeline. Yeah, why are you laughing at people getting killed? Okay, so that just happened. What we found is, is all good news, but I think we should be searching for something a little more concrete. We have to dig deeper. Oh, something going on, listener. Juliet Carrington. Who is this? Shouldn't post something like that. Between the three of us. Just had to let off some steam, okay. Wait, what happened? Oh, or is she referring to the fact that the, of the case earlier? Wait, what she did? Is she admitting that she actually assaulted the police officer? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. It was her. It was her. She just admitted to it. You heard that officer to save me. Um... This is why you should remove the- I might be free, but not really so. I'm not innocent. Oh my gosh. Oh. Admitted guilt. You'll have to let go. Okay. Oh. So now we need to decide. Well, the whole point is to find out if she really did it. Not- Well, we need to find out if she's the one who's- Who- Who bombed, uh, who bombed the square- and we're looking back and we need to figure out if she actually attacked that police officer. You hurt that officer to save me and you succeeded. Yes, she did hurt that officer. She smashed the skull. I mean, I, 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 but how do we know that what, what this means? You hurt the officer to save me. Like, Whatever that means, we don't know. All we know is that she did actually...
we know that she actually but the fact that the fact that she saved this person we does not mean so in both in both parts we know in both data chunks we know that she hurt the officer this just says to save me but what does that mean we don't know who this juliet carrington is we don't know if Unless the police officer was doing something that the police officer shouldn't have been doing. But it was at it was at this this riot thing. So they were Okay, well we know for a fact that I, I wish we could look more into this. Is there there's nothing else that we can really look at? Also this Jake Clefton always seems to be commenting on her posts. Okay, uh, she smashed the skull of the father of J because she lost it. Okay, so she was a little bit unstable. Possibly the whole reason why she needs to be on meth. And don't do drugs. <laughs> uh, the meth in this universe. And, okay, so we know, Cassie, you hurt that officer to save me. <sighs> okay, we, we need to... Okay, we know for a fact that she smashed the skull. We can do more. Next step, Wonderland. Just kidding. Next time, be more careful with provide. Okay. Data invalid. I don't know. Maybe... Oh no, they're coming to arrest her. Uh oh. Oh no, she's been taken. She's been taken, she's been taken. But we may have no particular involvement. We might be able to question her. And with a mission, she'll probably serve some time. Now in custody, good work indeed. What? Oh, no, no, no. What happened? What happened? What happened? Two dead after second explosion. At a university? I need to speak to my superiors about how to proceed. You did good today. You can log off and get some rest by clicking the button. Try and get some sleep. I have a feeling... <sighs> okay. Well then. Oh, I wonder what would have happened if... It was to save a police officer. Man, well, clearly there's something a lot deeper going on than just uh, Miss Cassie Watergate, and we're going to find that out in the next part. But thank you very much for joining me for this first part of Orwell. Uh, if you like the video, then give it a thumbs up. If you have anything to say, then leave a comment in the section down below. And if you would like to, then please feel free to subscribe to my channel to get notified on when I post new videos. I'm so excited for the next part of this. I can't wait. It's very, very conspiracy theory-like in this, in this alternate world. And I know that we're spying on people, which isn't really morally right, but we need to find out what's happening with these terrorist attacks. So until the next time, I will see y'all later. Thank you very much for joining me. Bye-bye.